What is it, guys? <gasps> In the world. Oh, what is that? What is that? No, I don't like this. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here then welcome welcome to our family i'm so happy to see you so oh my gosh guys it's that time of year again it is spooky season we have our house decorated the table the fridge the windows the counters and even this dude on the back of the door that i named ralph it's but anyways, today, guys, we are going to be doing our first mystery spooky unboxing. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm a little bit creeped out because this was literally advertised as a cursed fidget Halloween advent calendar. So now I'm a little bit nervous to open it because who knows what lies in here like. I'm just not in the mood today to get cursed, you know what I mean? I've not had the best Monday morning. I've already burnt my toast and fell downstairs. I don't want to open this and then get cursed. So guys, you know the drill. Grab a Halloween Starbucks, a spooky cake pop, or even your own creepy fidget. And let's get on with this unboxing. <laughs> Guys, there's something wrong with this already. Okay, so I literally just told you, right, that it was advertised as a cursed box. Well, look at this. There's no number one. Like, the lowest number it starts on is 22. I don't get it. Look, there's 327s. I mean, the last time I checked, October, I didn't have 327s and 429s. I feel like this is such a bad omen. Have you ever seen an advent calendar that starts on the number 22? And can you tell me what these are? I mean, I don't even think I want to know. Okay, guys, so we're just going to start opening them from the number 22, because that's the lowest number that I can find on here, all the way up to number 31, which is this massive big square in the centre. I'm home alone. I'm about to open this cursed box. Wish me luck. Okie okay, dokie, my little pumpkins. Let's open this one up first, then number 22. Oh, not these. Guys, I can't stand these. This is a bad start. So when I opened my last fidget advent calendar, it was a squid game one. I'll link it up by here in the iCard if you haven't seen it. Literally, we got these in there too. And I didn't know what they were. And you guys told me that they called acupuncture rings. But I don't get them. Go and comment down below now if you like these fidgets. Because these are like the worst fidgets in my opinion. Right, let's just go straight for this one then. The second number 22. This is so weird. Guys, what is that? Oh, I don't know what that is. Ooh, um, this is a skateboard. What the heck, guys? That is so creepy. Is this actually a fidget? Comment down below if you've seen these sold as fidgets, because this is my first ever skateboard fidget. So next up is number 23. <laughs> this is so odd. And they are one, two. Wait, hold the phone. Guys, look at this. There was literally one random box with the number three on. I don't know whether to open the number three now or not. Actually, I think I'm gonna leave it because that number three is creeping me out. So we're just gonna move on to the two number 23s here. Let's go for this one too. Guys, I think it's like a jelly bat. And in case you don't know, bats are like my biggest fear. This is so gross. Yeah, okay, it's literally a bat. Uh, okay, what fidget is this? I'm sorry that I'm asking you guys to help me out so much, but I don't know what fidget this is. We're gonna put it over there for now and open up the second 23, which is this one. we have like this random lizard what is going on this is so weird okay let's move on so next is number 24 so we have two number 24s okay Ew, what is that um oh i actually love these these are like one of my favorite fidgets because they're so satisfying Okay, this is my favourite so far. Okay, the second number 24. What in the world? Oh my gosh, we got one of those like, 
what are they called? You know, like the wrist snappers. I'm sorry, but that's actually really cute. Guys, is it just me? Or am I like walking that? That's actually really cute. And I hate that. But that is pretty adorable. Okay, so next up is number 25. And they're, oh, guys, there are three 25 boxes. Okay, so we have one, two, and three. So let's start with this one, I think. What is it, guys? <gasps> oh, gosh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> they gave us an eyeball. You having a laugh? Got it. Oh, oh, okay. Oh yeah, I'm feeling that. Okay, so this is like a squishy eyeball. Oh, guys, it feels so weird. Let's move on to this one then. See what we get in here. Probably an arm or a leg, you know. Make up the whole body, why not? Oh, I'm scared to look. Ooh, oh, I love these. They're like little pea poppers, aren't they? I actually prefer the peanut ones over the peas as well. But this is so not Halloween, guys. What the heck? Like, I like this fidget, but it's not spooky or Halloween themed, so. Okay, my angels, last one up here. And this is literally like, this is bulky. I hope it's not another eyeball. What is this? <gasps> what is that? So you put like a little battery in here, I think, and then you switch it on and it's like, um, it's a light sensory one. So that's pretty cool. We'll have to try and find some batteries for this. Right, so next up is number 26. So there's one, two, and three. Okay, so I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with this little square one down here. I'm hoping that we're gonna find some sort of wacky track, like a Halloween themed wacky track. I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Slinky? Is that what you call them? That's what I call them. I feel like with this being Halloween, they should have made this like a ghost. I mean, that smile is kind of creepy. Like that probably would stare into your soul a little bit, wouldn't it? But are they gonna put a pumpkin on there or something, couldn't they? Let's move on to this number 26. Oh, I'm so nervous. What in the is? <gasps> no way! Oh! Okay, guys, this is my favorite. This is my new favorite. This is so cool. It's a Halloween infinity cube. Look at the detail. It is so pretty. It literally reminds me of the Halloween movie, The Nightmare Before Christmas. 10 out of 10 for that. Okay, right now I want to open the next 26. See if we get a good one in there too. This one. I thought that was McDonald's fries then. I saw the yellow and the red and I was like, chucking a bit of McDonald's in there. You know, might as well. We've got a back. We've had an eyeball. Why not? Okay, we got these things. What are they called? Aren't they called like sea creatures or something? Oh, what are, what's the name of them? It's bugging me. Can you please? Help me out below. Again, I like them, but why not make them like orange and purple or orange and black? Like red and yellow aren't really Halloween colors, are they? Okay, right. We have our 327s next. One, two, three, and this one, guys. We're getting the big prizes now. Okay, let's start here actually, right at the top. Oh, are you kidding me? We literally just got a double. We've so got scammed. I swear, if this is more of them, Ooh. Oh, guys. <gasps> what is that? Oh, we got a long arm. Oh, so we got this creepy Halloween alien thing. Okay, does it go on your finger? Oh, it matches my nails, guys. You could just pop him on your hand. Stretch him. Squish him. <laughs> right then, last one. There's a big number 27 here. This has to be a good one because this is huge. <gasps> we got a poppet. We got a poppet, guys. I'm a bit sad that it's not a Halloween coloured one. Okay, you know what? Guys, that's actually a really good poppet. Like, really good. Okay, guys, so 
We only have nine boxes left. Yes, nine boxes. Okay, so next up is our number 28, which is this tiny one, this huge one, and this one. I genuinely have no idea what could be in here. Hopefully a wacky track, because I really want one. Okay, I'm gonna go right on the very end first and go for this one. Oh, could it be? Oh, not another eyeball. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay guys, so we got another. <gasps> guys, my eyeball sounds like a duck. What is happening? Right, so this is the one that I opened earlier. It's just a squishy. This one literally just sounds like a hamster that's eating too much candy corn. So that's something, but why is making that sound? Guys, that's creepy. That is so creepy. Right. Okay, now we're gonna open this one. This huge one here, and now I'm proper getting worried about what could be in here. These are getting stranger. What is it? Oh. Wait, any guesses, guys? Oh, here we go. As for what this... Oh, it's a pop-it band. So we got a little pop-it bracelet band. Um, confused why it's yellow, though. Yellow is in the Halloween colour. You know, at least it's not as creepy as the hamster eyeball. Let's see how good these pops are. Oh, guys, they're not very good. Oh, okay, let's move on to our final 28 box. Ooh. Oh, not another one of these things. Oh, gross. So this time we got this millipede. We have like a whole family of creepy, weird bugs going on now. Okay, yeah, we literally have three number 29s left, which we'll open next. And then we just have 130, 131. And this random three that we've kept till the end, hoping that it will be something good. Let's start, let's start with this one. Oh, not another one of these. This is, guys, this is so bad. We've got scammed so much in this video. We've literally just got another double. Go away. Okay, let's go to this one. Oh, oh not more. Guys. What is happening? Another millipede. Okay, that's another double. This is so bad. This is our last chance now, okay? Ooh, okay, we don't have these. Wow. We got loads as well. Monkey noodle. Yay! The colours on these, they are literally neon. Like, I feel like this is the most Halloween one, actually, and it literally matches my outfit today and my nails, guys. Green monkey noodle. Okie dokie, right. This box is so destroyed now. Look at it. It's hard to even open the door. Oh, guys, we got another alien, but at least we got a different colour. So this is the one we got before, the green one. Oh, we got a purple one. I think this one is a girl. I don't know. Okay, these are actually like really addicting to like play with them. Okay, I love that. So now let's open this really random weird number three that makes no sense. Maybe this is the cursed door or something. And then we'll open that and get our main prize. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, guys, look. Again, he reminds me of Jack out of Nightmare Before Christmas. And at least this is actually Halloween themed. This is how it should be, so. Do you wind him up? Oh, jeez. Oh, guys, Jack's walking. He's walking on the table. Guys, he's off. Oh my gosh, this is like the most satisfying thing. And listen to the noise. Oh my gosh, look how cute he is. Oh. <laughs> guys, this has amused me. Oh wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's literally me, guys. I walk for five seconds and then I'm like, nah. Okay, so he's pretty cool. I mean, I've never seen a fidget like that that you wind up and then he just like walks around. It would keep you entertained though. It's a good idea, a good fidget. Okay, let's pop Jack by there and then open. <gasps> Finally, our massive number 31 box. Yay, right in the middle. This has to be something good. Okay, right, we should all guess what's in there. So pause this video and comment below what you think now. I think, oh, I want it to be a wacky track because I wanted one, but I feel like it's too big. It's gonna be a big, like simple dimple. Mm, that's my guess, a Halloween simple dimple. Oh, we got a giant puppet. 
Oh, that's so nice. And close this Halloween one. This was a pumpkin, but wow. That tie-dye. Look at the colors, the way they blend it. Okay, moment of truth, guys. Does this have a good pop? Because if it has a rubbish pop, it's going to ruin everything. 10 out of 10. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad. We literally ended on such good ones. We were getting scammed. We were getting doubles. We were getting creepy bugs and like haunted eyes that sounded like a chicken. And we ended on these two. I'm so happy. It was such a good end. Okie dokie guys, so here is our overall haul from today's Halloween Fidget Coast Advent Calendar. Time to comment down below your top three favourite things. This is really difficult. So third place, I'm going to put this guy because he's just really unique. I've never seen a fidget like that. Second place, I'm going to put this pumpkin because the pop is so good and the colour is stunning. And in first place guys, it's going to have to be this infinity cube because this is the perfect Halloween colour and design. But they're my top three, but remember to comment down below what your top three were. I'm really curious to know. Oh, and I have this guy. I completely forgot. I was just wearing that and got carried away. Um, he'd come in fourth place because I actually really like that. But make sure to comment your top three down below. So thank you so, so much for watching this video, guys. Literally, you have no idea how much your support means to me. It means the whole world. I'm so grateful for every single person who watches a video, who gives it a thumbs up, who subscribes to me like you are just my world. But I'm going to end this video right here now because I'm about to start filming another video where I open Halloween creepy mystery toys for an entire week. Stay tuned guys, you don't want to miss it, it's going to be a great one. But have the best day ever, stay spooky and I'll see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye guys, I love you. Mwah.